Hi, welcome to this Time 2 Resources video on understanding capacity and capacity utilisation. If you want to make notes as you follow the video, download the handy PDF note taker. The link is available in the description box below. Capacity is the maximum amount of output a business can achieve given its current resources. This could be its physical resources such as machinery, its human resources, its employees, or financial resources, maybe cash flow. If a business is operating at full capacity, this means it is making 100% use of all of its resources and cannot, in the short run, increase its level of output. It's important not to mistake capacity with capacity utilisation. Capacity utilisation is the percentage of maximum capacity that is actually being utilised. So what is our actual output as a percentage of the potential output if all of our resources were being fully utilised? This can be calculated using the formula actual output divided by a maximum output times 100. Let's look at an example. Our example is going to look at a manufacturer that makes apple juice. The maximum output if all resources are being fully utilised is 120 bottles. At the current time, the actual output is 90,000 bottles. So to calculate our capacity utilisation, we will take 90,000 divided by 120,000 and multiply it by 100. This would give us our answer of 75%. So we would say that our manufacturer of apple juice is currently working at 75% capacity utilisation. This means that they could produce a further 25% using their current level of resources. Let's assume that the actual output of our business has increased to 110,000 bottles. The maximum output is still 120,000 bottles. The business's capacity utilisation clearly has gone up, but what is the new level? Why not pause the video whilst you calculate the new level of capacity utilisation? Using our formula, actual output divided by maximum output multiplied by 100, you should now have 110,000 divided by 120,000 times 100. We have a new capacity utilisation of 92%. The business is still not operating at full capacity as this would be 100%, however it is getting very close. In the examination you may do this calculation but you may then need to analyse what is the consequence of this increase in capacity utilisation. We could start by quoting the figures. There has been an increase in capacity utilisation from 75% to 92%. As a result of this, there is greater use of the assets, such as the machinery which is used to bottle the apple juice. This means that fixed costs are spread over a higher level of output, so our fixed costs are divided by a higher number. This would mean that there is a fall in unit costs. The business may decide to pass this on to the consumer in the form of lower prices, which assuming that the product is price elastic would mean that there would be an increase in demand and an increase in revenue. Here we're going to argue that the lower prices would give the business a competitive advantage. We now have a series of steps in our line of analysis. There are however also disadvantages to having high capacity utilisation. It could result in the over utilisation of resources. This would mean that there is no time for maintenance, there's no downtime for the machines. This could lead to them breaking, which would result in stoppages in production. This would make it difficult for the business to match supply to demand, which could lead to a loss of competitive advantage. If the company's products are not on the shelves, then consumers will try an alternative and may stick with that alternative in the future. There are advantages to high or increasing capacity utilisation. As we saw in the example where we analysed one of the advantages, it was unit costs are lower. Another advantage is job security. Employees will be kept busy and they will feel like they are working for a profitable and successful business. This will meet their security needs, which will increase motivation as this is one of the lower order needs on Maslow's hierarchy. It could also improve the brand image and the reputation. The business will be seen as successful in the eyes of many consumers. We are more drawn to popular restaurants rather than those that are empty when we question, well, why is there nobody in there, for example? 
There are also disadvantages to high or increasing capacity utilisation. If capacity utilisation is very high, this may lead to missed opportunities. For example, a one-off order from a high-profile potential future customer may be lost because the business hasn't got the flexibility to accept this order. It could lead to pressure on resources, maybe stress on staff or lack of maintenance on machinery. There could be potential quality problems, poor or slow customer service, mistakes being made. There is also a loss of development time. This would mean that a business would struggle to build their portfolio or keep up to date with trends in the market. The key points. Capacity is the maximum amount of output a business can achieve given its current resources. It's important not to confuse this with capacity utilisation, which is the percentage of the maximum capacity that is actually being used. This can be calculated using the formula actual output divided by maximum output multiplied by 100. There are advantages of high capacity utilisation, a key one being a fall in unit cost. However, there are also disadvantages, particularly if a business gets close to full capacity. These include quality. Capacity utilisation, unit cost and quality are three operational targets that can be set by a business. Thank you for watching this video on capacity and capacity utilisation. There are lots more videos on operations management, so if you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now.